Hey everybody, Rob here, and we're back with yet another severe weather update. Uh, currently, I'm looking at uh, the Storm Prediction Center, which has outlined a marginal and a slight risk for severe weather. Um, this includes a pretty small 5% and 2% outline for the chance of some tornadoes. Um, not the most favorable setup for tomorrow, but Thursday still looks like it has the potential to go outbreak mode if we see if we see some of our dew points and cape up trending. So this is what Thursday looks like, a much larger area of marginal, a much larger area of uh, slight. So this will likely encompass uh, a 5% tornado risk and then a 2% will expand through a majority of this marginal risk um, on the other side. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a peek at the NAM model now. So this is one of our uh, medium shorter range models. Um, and we can see uh, late near midnight is whenever we start to get some of this uh, precipitation starting right here. Uh, we have the snow, sleet, freezing rain on the back end of this system um, through Kansas and then uh, Oklahoma. You're going to start to get some of uh, your, your storms firing up. Most of these will likely be elevated storms. They're not going to be surface based. So... Um, what you really need um, for tornadoes um, and really lots of organized severe weather is you need um, surface-based storms, storms that are um, that are feeding off of that surface energy. And because we have limited energy um, from the surface, from our cape, uh, we're not going to have ton a ton of uh, surface-based storms. So um, the the cape or the convective available potential energy our energy is just kind of lacking you know um so we'll go ahead and look at the dew points and this is later on into wednesday and you can see we've got some mid 50s dew points stretching up um with a pretty stout dry line here um and as we go into the a.m hours some of those 60s dew points do surge up into southeast oklahoma and i think the area that we could get some of those surface based storms is definitely right here um through southeast texas all right or i guess just east texas northeast texas um and then as we get into the early morning hours the severe weather threat is going to focus more over here on louisiana mississippi arkansas tennessee and I think this is probably where we're going to have our greatest tornado chance is in this warm nose right here, which is just covering some of these southern states. So uh, we'll go ahead and look at our cape because that's our one thing that is just so very lacking. <laughs> um, and we can see here the NAM has us with a couple hundred cape here through uh, the Texas Panhandle, um, even a pocket of a thousand cape, but that quickly disappears. And we're back down into, you know, 500 to 750 range of cape here. Now, that's not a lot of energy. And you don't need a ton of energy whenever you have storms that have um, this strong of a kinematic support. They really have strong shear. Um, they're not going to need a lot, of, a lot of that energy. But still, you need some energy. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I think the NAM is under forecasting this a little bit. Um, I think it has a tiny bit of a cold bias by maybe a couple degrees. Um, and this is something that happened on the December 10 outbreak where dew points and temperatures were under forecasted by about three to four degrees um, through a majority of the entire warm sector from Tennessee to through Kentucky. So um, I do think we're going to have marginally higher um, Cape values, potentially reaching up into the thousands in some areas across Mississippi, Louisiana. Um, maybe even southeastern Arkansas, but um, it's still gonna limit some of our our severe weather to a degree. Um, some of the higher resolution models have been showing more discrete supercells, which would give us the higher chance of seeing tornadoes. But I I, I don't know how that's gonna really pan out. I mean, we're we're still a couple days out, so it's hard to really get a full grasp of the storm modes. Um, I do think there's a chance we could get some semi-discrete supercells, maybe a broken line of supercells that uh, moves across the south here. Um, but if we do get a, uh, spots of cape in the thousands, if we do get under-forecasted temperatures and dew points, 
chances are we could be seeing a tornado outbreak down here in the mid-south so this is still something to keep an eye on something very concerning and we actually do have quite the winter storm on the back end of this system that's going to bring some major ice all the way from missouri illinois uh, indiana michigan uh up into ontario so um this storm is going to pack a major punch whether you live in the south or up in the midwest so um that's about all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching if you like receiving severe and winter weather updates like this one then i recommend subscribing it's completely free and you can always unsubscribe at any time so thank you so much for watching uh, please stay safe out there peace out